because sometimes when the, leaving, or when the leaving group leaves, it doesn't have to react with something. So this can be a halogen because, right. and that makes a good leaving group or an excellent leaving group. That's just, and that's, because that's a, that's associated with a leaving group that has like a double bond where the charge can be stabilized. So does that mean that that makes that is that a good right. I, I think that the most excellent leaving groups would be things that start with positive charges. Oh yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. Because what does a leaving group do? It doesn't just leave. It a leaving group electrons. leaves and takes the electrons with it. A leaving oh, group okay. leaves and takes the electrons with it, which okay. means that it tends to uh, it tends to get more negative negative charge. You can see here the iodide ended up with a negative charge over here. Um, well, again, nature is not that happy about this charge over here. Um, it, this is okay because this is a halogen and halogens don't mind that much having negative charge. But it would be even better, who would really like to pick up electrons? Somebody positive. Right. So I think that generally the most excellent leaving groups are the things with positive charges. And the nucle nucleophiles are the opposite, right? Like, right. It's like, yeah. Right. That's right. Um, that's uh, the, uh, well, so uh, a nucleophile, uh, a good nucleophile is somebody who wants to donate electrons. Well, who really wants to donate electrons? Not someone with a positive charge, someone with a negative charge. Now, there are some nucleophiles that are neutral, but it's easier to be a nucleophile if you're negative. There's no nucleophiles that are positive. Right. Similarly, there are some leaving groups that are neutral, but it's even easier to be a leaving group if you start positive. There certainly are no leaving groups that start negative. Um, okay, so those are some important points right there. Since we're talking about that, why don't we take a look at the bottom of page two, uh, the handout. Uh, so again, we were looking here at um, there's tables of what are the decent leaving groups, nucleophiles, and bases. So if you look at the leaving groups um, uh, on the bottom right, the good leaving groups, you can see there's a lot of things that uh, have positive charges that are good leaving groups. Uh, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, or sulfur with positive charges would be a good leaving group. But when they're neutral, they're not good leaving groups anymore. Notice again how crucial it is to focus on the charge. There's a big difference between a neutral nitrogen, which is crossed out, that's not a good leaving group, and a positive nitrogen, which is in green, that's a good leaving group. Uh, over there. Notice that I didn't actually classify these into good, bad, and excellent. And the reason is that's a subtlety that not, is not that likely to be too important on the exam. That might be important in maybe a couple homework problems, but for the most part, for exam problems, it's good enough just to ask, is this a decent leaving group or not a decent leaving group? So everything that's in green there is good enough for SN1, SN2, E1, or E2. And everything that's crossed out can't do any of those. Uh, it's true that a really good leaving group is even better for SN1 and E1. But uh, that's a little bit of a subtlety that probably is not going to come up too much in the course. So these are the key things to focus on here, just who's good enough. Um, so those are the things that are in green. Uh, and then if you look at the nucleophiles, you can see there are some uh, neutral uh, nucleophiles um, over here, but there's more nucleophiles with a negative charge. Uh, it's easier to be a nucleophile when you have a negative charge over there. So maybe we'll talk more about those uh, later on.